we need to chat. I thought I was going to be reviewing the Love 41 version 2.0 duffel. And what I thought this bag was, was a great handbag, after work bag, weekend bag. No, this is actually, you're not going to believe what's in here. So let me just show you. And before I get in there, I had this thing with uh, some very large items in here. So you'll notice that I didn't do, I didn't snap the edges down so that I have full access to the zipper. And that's actually how I use the bag. I never put these down. So anyways, let's get in here. This is not just your average handbag. You are not going to believe what I have in here. So I have my full laptop for work in this bag zipped. It is unbelievable what fits in here. So this is not just a handbag to me. This has been reinvented as a work bag. I have my full size tablet tucked between the pocket and the bag because the pocket's not uh, sewn all the way along the back. I have this from their sister company, Saddleback. This is their five pocket liter wallet for fly fishing repurposed as my wallet. I have my glasses case, a hard sided sunglasses case, this beast, which is my power charger for my laptop. And I have my super clunky keys. Normally I also have my phone tucked back here in this exterior pocket, but I'm using it to film. So even with all of this stuff, and let me just show you what I mean. Like this is a lot of stuff. Even with all of this, I could have easily put in my other wallet because usually I carry two wallets. And I could have even put the essential oils pouch, right, which I use as kind of like a mini cosmetic bag. Um, so I can't believe that this doubles as a work bag. And I want to show you what I had in rotation before this bag came to me. So this is what I was using before. And I hate to torture you a little bit, guys, because this bag is this bag is absolutely gorgeous. So this is the Love 41 Simple Hair on Tote. Um, these were limited edition bags that pop up from time to time, um, and no two are identical. So I was using this as my work bag for the last probably a couple months. And just look at the size difference. It's really actually shocking that my laptop fits in here and that I could get away with carrying everything I need to carry into the office in this handbag. So it's significantly shorter, it's significantly narrower this way. It's a lot wider on the bottom, um, but I actually think that works out really well because when I open the bag, I can kind of see everything that's in there without having to dig through. Whereas this one, and let me turn it for you, the simple tote has a narrower profile. So sometimes the things tend to pile up on each other not the case when you've got something this wide on the bottom so um this bag it just has i mean it's just unbelievable versatility that you could use it as a handbag or as a work bag i think that we're not done we've got to check if it has other uses Secret use number two for the Love 41 duffel. So let's get in here. You saw that I use this as a work bag, complete as a laptop carrier and everything I need to get myself to the office. This is secret use number two. I will say I'm getting pretty close to packing this bag out. I'm gonna say use number two. This thing is about, I didn't even pack it that well. I could have packed it better and it would have been less stuffed. But the way I just sort of threw everything in, it's about 80% full. So let's go essentials. Got to have my clunky keys. Not going anywhere without your wallet. I have a sweat towel. My cosmetic bag for after the gym. That's what I pack this bag for. I have a change of clothes, which includes a blouse and Columbia stretch, I don't know what you call them. They are stretchy, but they're hiking pants that double as work pants. Wear these to the office, and I guarantee you people are gonna think you have on slacks. Um, obviously you need a change of shoes. So I think the person that asked me to do this asked for flip-flops, but I didn't wanna put my flip-flops in this bag because it's, they're kinda of dirty. And I had just gotten a new pair of Toms, which I think is actually better for a demo because Toms take up, I think, more room. So um, I put a pair of Toms into this bag. 
like this. I didn't even squish them down and they fit no problem. I actually think I could have probably put in um, like a modest pair of sneakers in here too. And then the coup de gras, I put a 17 ounce water bottle in here. It's Orange Theory Fitness. If you guys are wondering about this Orange Theory thing that everyone talks about, let me know. I'll tell you all about it. Um, and it fits. It's unbelievable. All of this stuff fits. This is your new stylish de facto gym bag. Well, everyone's toting around this ugly canvas tote thing. You're rolling into the gym with your unbelievable duffel. Last but not least, before this was your amazing new tech bag that you took into work or your super cool gym bag, this is still a handbag. So I wanted to show you a traditional just packing out of this bag. Um, but before I do, I wanna show you a couple of things. The first is, notice that in my other two uses, I had these, the nipple rivets popped out. Um, when the bag is full or you have large items in there, it's just easier to get in and out and unzip it when these are popped. As a traditional sort of handbag use with the things I put in here, you don't need that. So if you want it to be sleeker or more compact, I've pushed these down. Um, and it works just fine. And before we get into the bag, I do wanna show you, actually, let me just show you. This is what it looks like with what I consider to be like three quarters full, like how you might carry it on an average day. So this is it uh, on, I think it's very, I think it's very beautiful and compact considering how much it holds. I'm five foot two, so disclaimer there. This is it if you do the hand carry. Um, and I'm gonna show you this, I don't think, I would ever do it, but I think somebody did ask. So I wanna show you, somebody said, could you do this? Um, no, not realistically. It's not really even on my shoulder. It's sort of just being held there by the tension of my arm. Um, so it's strictly by these handles, it's arm or hand carry. And let me show you what it looks like if you go cross body. So this is a very generous setting, but I have it set to the shortest setting. Um, because I'm short. So let me show you this. And these clasps, clasps, that's hard to say, they swivel so you never have to worry that you put it on um, backwards or anything like that. Um, and let me hop up here. So you might see that you get this action and it's not a big deal. You just need to push the D-ring down Kind of readjust and then it stays flat. Keep in mind this bag is a relatively new purchase for me so I imagine that over time it'll do that more easily without needing any manual adjustments. At first I thought when I got this bag I wouldn't carry it cross body but it's actually really comfortable considering the size of the bag um, it actually works as a cross body. Sometimes those bigger bags I see people put them cross body I'm like I wouldn't do that. But even on my stature, I think it looks fine. And it's very, very comfortable considering how much I have in there. So let's see what I've got in here. This is traditionally, this is what I think is more of a normal carry, what people would carry in this bag. Um, so let me go in here. So you don't need to undo these in order to do the zip. It opens just fine with those down. Um, and because like I said, I have it only probably three quarters packed these don't need to be popped. Here's what it looks like. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so I put in here a 17 ounce water bottle. I know you ladies like to carry this around with you. And um, it's really nice too, and you're probably not gonna be able to appreciate this, but just how everything stacks, you don't, nothing falls in on itself because the bag is wide, but not that tall. So just by removing this, I can pretty much see everything in the bag. Um, and so I have five pocket liter wallet. I have the Love 41 cosmetic bag and this sits just like this. On the bottom, takes up room and I still have plenty to go. I have their sister company, the Saddle, Saddleback Big Wallet. This thing is big. It can actually go in either way. Does anyone else carry two wallets? I carry two wallets and I know my husband thinks that's strange, but um, I carry two wallets. And then I have this, which is the larger of my two tablets. And this time around, I didn't even stick it in between the pocket and the bag. I just put it in there. We are not done. I have my hard glasses case, my hard-sided sunglasses case. 
and I have my clunky keys. All of that fit in this bag, no problem. It was an extremely comfortable carry. Um, the rolled handles are padded and they, they just feel nice on. Like they're not digging into you. The seams are on the interior, so that's not cutting into your arm at all. Um, and then it makes for a sleek look because the part that is exposed is the seamless side. This is just, I don't know, it's the most versatile handbag that I think I've ever seen Love 41 do. Okay, we've talked about the different uses of this bag. I wanna talk a little bit about the mechanics of the bag. So the first thing is, this is version 2.0. What's different about the mini duffel and this new larger duffel besides the obvious size? There's a couple of things. The first is this has a nipple rivet. The mini duffel has a snap. This also has two pockets. The mini duffel has no pockets. This has a single open exterior back pocket, which can fit my Samsung Galaxy S7 easily. Pokes out the top a little bit, but I think when this bag gets more stretched out or this pocket rather, you'll be able to push that down and that won't be any issue at all. On the interior, it's got a single open pocket, uh, not full length, probably about um, maybe 80% the length of the bag and it's not attached in the, it's not sewn completely to the back. So you can slip a tablet back there and I, I talked about how I did that earlier. Um, so that's that, it comes with a crossbody strap that's adjustable and then obviously the two permanently affixed hand carries. I wanna show you one other thing which is the measurements of this bag. Things like this I feel like are, um, ouch, that, that actually really hurt. <laughs> but we're not gonna start over. Things like this I feel are controversial because it's very difficult to measure a bag. Um, so I'm just gonna measure it like this on camera and show you and you can sort of decide for yourself. This is the dead center of the bag and I wanna make sure it's not dented at all so I can show it to you. So this is measuring like nine and a half. Um, and I'm just sort of pinching it shut like that. And let me go over to the other side and see, because it narrows obviously as you get to the side. So on the sides, it's measuring more around nine. Um, I'm gonna attempt to measure the bottom interior, and this is not easy. Um, but it's about, if you measure on the outside of the seams, it's about 13 and a quarter. Um, and realistically, you, when you lay stuff across the bottom, it does sort of go to the outside of the seam, just the way the bag is done. Um, and let me show you this. This is the exterior pocket. Um, I'm hesitant to put this in here, one, because it's tight and I don't want to scratch it. So what I'll do is I'll measure the outside and then you can sort of guesstimate what, what would go in here and I'll tell you the dimensions of my phone, which is kind of the tippy top, I think. So the, the outside of this pocket measures, let me get it down there, uh, about six and three quarters. And then the last measurement for us is the interior pocket. This one is gonna be a little harder for me to measure because the pocket is lower in the front. Um, so I'm gonna measure all the way to the back because I don't think that um, it being lower in the front would hurt anything. So the exterior of that pocket, and it's a very narrow pocket, so I couldn't really put this in there. This is awkward, isn't it? It's about, um, it's probably about six and three quarters, the height of that pocket, and the width. You know what I wanted for Christmas? is a super amazing measuring tape so that I could do this better for you guys. Um, so bear with me here. The length on this is about, almost eight, let's say seven and three quarters, but those are the exterior of the pockets. So you'd need to probably shrink it down by half an inch on either side um, to get that interior measurement. But that is, oh, the depth of the actual bag and the length and height and width. Huh, how about all that good stuff? It's the end of the day and you can tell. So let's look like this, we can look together. This one, it's about eight and a half. And let's measure edge to edge like this. It's about 13 and a half. And then let me do this. This one is a tougher measurement. This one is 
It's about six and a half across the bottom. Uh, so that is it. That is the mechanics of the Love 41 large duffel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm back. I forgot to mention all of my version 2.0 stuff. Um, and there actually isn't a lot. I thought she did an excellent job in the upgrade and design of this bag, but there's, as always, there's a couple of things. So the first thing is attaching this um, to the existing D-rings that, that also house the hand carries. Um, I'm not sure with this mini duffel that you could do anything different because you're not working with a lot of height, but on this bag you are. And I think that there is room for there to be a D-ring right here. And I think that would improve the look of the bag. And I think it would prevent these from sort of popping up. And that it would also sort of lay better against you um, versus sort of angling out or angling like this. Um, so I would love to see D-rings here. And I'm gonna go into the bag and I'm gonna pop these so I can show you hopefully what I'm talking about. I would love to see, so right now we are working with one, and I'm gonna pull it out for you. Right now we're working with one um, pocket right here. It's not very, um, I guess deep is the word, and it'll stretch over time, but even my phone is sort of having a hard time fitting in here. So I think what I'd like to see is a pocket, um, maybe that's not quite as thick, thinner leather so that I could get more in there. Um, and I would like to see it just a little bit looser so that I can maybe tuck like a, a simple wallet in there um, and my phone to sort of keep those things from getting getting mixed in with the rest of my stuff. And I would also love to see, because of the size of this bag, um, pockets on the interior sides. Um, I think that would be really nice and to even have them sort of open and very uh, generous, like very, almost like if you remember the Umaraji, how that that pocket on the interior of the actual purse, not the backpack, was like this, like a cup almost. And you could always see what was in there. So I would love to see more pockets on the interior and the pocket that exists, have it be more sized generously this way. Um, so that's, that's my version 2.0. Do not let it stop you from buying this bag. This thing is an unbelievable workhorse and it's stylish to boot. Now I can say thank you so much for watching. Last but not, Blah, 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 start over. <laughs>